slash commands have been taking over Discord over the past couple of months as the Discord developer API requires you to switch over to them as when or when they introduce the message intents. Well, now I've finally figured out how to actually implement slash commands with our music bot. It is a bit different than all other commands. We have to do some workarounds as uh, we're using interaction now opposed to CTX. But this has been like a highly requested video. And so here it is. Anyways, hit the intro. Okay, so here I am in my Visual Studio code. And what we're going to need to do firstly is do pip install dash yo next chord. Now, what this will do is this will just update next chord. And this is so you have the latest version of it. Because say you installed it a couple months back when uh, slash commands weren't actually inside next chord, then you won't be able to actually, actually access it. And so first we have to make sure our update our version is up to the date. So I have version 2.0.0 alpha 10 right here. So if you have something like that, or at least uh, alpha eight, you should be fine. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change up our imports a bit. So we're gonna do from next chord import, and we're gonna import a couple of things. So it's gonna be interaction, uh, we also want to import slash option and channel type. And then we're going to do from next chord dot abc import guild channel. Like so. So now you should have something that looks a bit like this. So I have this and this should actually be channel type. And now we're gonna actually create the slash command. And creating a slash command is super simple. I'm gonna create right below our play command right here. All it is is bot dot slash underscore command. If you're using client, then just put in client there. I'm using bot, so I'll just put in bot. And then we're gonna have guild equal underscore IDs equals, and then you wanna put in an array. Now, whatever guild or a guild ID or guild that you're testing on, you wanna grab the guild ID for that. And you want to paste it in here, add a comma afterwards. And this is just so the command will instantly be added to that guild when like we start the bot. This is just for testing because it can take up to an hour for some, I guess, slash commands to actually update to the bot. And so for testing purposes, we just do this so we can instantly test it. But now I'm going to do async def play, same thing that we did here, but a bit different. So firstly, we're going to have to do interaction. And that's going to be equal to interaction. And then we're going to define a couple of arguments, two to be specific. So we're going to do channel. And that's going to be equal to guild channel. So you'll choose from any of the channels that the guild has. And that's going to be equal to slash option, because it will be an option. And then we can pass in a couple of parameters here. So first thing is going to be is channel underscore types. And that's gonna be an array, right? You can put in as many as you want here, you can. But because it's a voice channel and it's a music bot, we're gonna do channel type dot voice. And we're gonna add an extra comma. And inside here, we're gonna do a description. So description, and we can do something like voice channel to join. All right, so that's what we have here. And also over here, you can see, I have um, this is an extension that allows me to do this, uh, but you could actually add a description for the slash command. So you could add it in here, like description equals, and then you could add whatever you want. Play a song, right? So, after we have that, that's gonna be for our, I guess, just channel. But we have, that's not our only argument. We only, we also have search. And that's gonna be a string. And that's gonna be equal to also slash option where the description. And it's good to 
uh, it's good practice to have descriptions just so if someone's new to the bot, they can actually see uh, like what to add or what to do. And I guess it just gives them directions. And then again, you could see all of the, I guess, uh, parameters that you can pass in here. All we're going to do is song name, right? So that's going to be the description for that. And so here we are. Um, I'm getting an error here for some reason. Oh, yeah, because we have to add the semicolon. So now that we have that, we can actually, I guess, just code a bit more into here and mess around with it. So what we're going to do is for some reason, my task was. OK, so inside here, what we're going to do is first we're going to do search equals await wave link dot YouTube track dot search and then we're gonna pass in a couple of the parameters so query query would equal to search and then return underscore first would equal to true. So like that. Now Basically, what this is doing is if you look over here in our other command, we define wavelength.youtube track over here, and it does all of that work over there. But because this is slash commands, we can't actually do that. It's not a supported type, so we have to do it over here. And then what we can do is we can literally um, just, I guess, sort of copy and paste this. In. We'll do a bit of changes to it, but you'll see what the big difference is. Like. So the big difference here is instead of CTX, we're going to do interaction dot guild dot voice client. And then over here, instead of CTX dot author, it's just going to be channel dot connect. So wait channel dot connect like so. And then over here, instead of CTX dot author dot voice, it's just going to be interaction dot author dot voice. So, and over here, also, I think I spelled interaction wrong. Oh, never mind. Uh, this is going to be interaction.send. And this is just going to be interaction.guild.underscore voice client. Okay, so I just restarted my uh, Visual Studio code. It was being really laggy there. So, yeah, that should be fixed. And it seems like it is. But now here we're going to do if, and this is literally the same thing that's over here. We can just copy and paste this once again. So, like so, just copy and paste it. And then we're going to change CTX or right here to interaction. And it's also going to become interaction. And we can remove CTX. And now this may break a couple of things, right? So, how are we going to actually, I guess, just work with this here? And you could do the same exact thing. So you could try to uh, get this, for example, try statement, and then say that doesn't work, accept, and next quote.http exception. Then you could do interaction equals player dot interaction and then over here instead of having that we would do vc dot interaction equals interaction and i guess we uh, you'd have to change a couple things up so like this we we'll go back here paste that there and it'll be interaction dot guild dot voice client a bit uh, like just really small the changes right there. Same thing for here. Try accept the next quote dot HTTP exception and just do interaction. Like so. So that's pretty much it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into Visual Studio Code and we're actually gonna test this thing out. Okay, so here I am in my recording voice channel. And if we use the slash commands right here, 
we'll see that we have the play, right? And it's play a song. That's a description that we set for it. So here, when we click, we have two parameters here. So channel, which I will set to recording, right? Make sure the box can search it up and then search. I'm just going to do rainy day blow skip. Right, so now when we play this, right, it's gonna do its little thing and it's gonna play rainy day. Now, you probably can't hear it once again, but I can, and yeah, actually, here now you can hear it. It's really faint, or I hope it is, but it's playing. And there we go, slash commands. Now, this is supposed to give you like that actual gist of things. I actually muted the thing here. Uh, but essentially, this, I guess, this concept, you can apply to everything else. I taught you how to add your own arguments and just the interaction things to adapt it to other. So it works with voice client and sending messages. But yeah, it's basically the same thing. And it works just like a regular command would be. And yeah, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a fun one to make. And yeah, till next time, we'll stick out. See ya.